data from the WHO website. These are today's data as what it says on WHO's website. So these every day, you know, last week data, if you look at India is among these countries lowest. The maximum cases are coming from, for example, as of now from Japan, Korea, uh, these countries. So as of now, the threat is not what we perceive through media, but it is lowest ever during the COVID pandemic. Next slide, please. So coming to the variants of COVID. So the most authentic information about variant of COVID is available at WHO websites. And there is a committee on uh, uh, WHO, which continuously evaluates the various variants of because you know the cases are available globally and globally they are being tracked epidemiologically. They are, the genotype is, is being ascertained and, uh, 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 and, uh, and among the various variants or genotypes identified because viruses evolve rapidly and new variants are identified, but not all variants are of concern. So variant of concerns are one those who are threat to public health or who have you know some kind of you know new pattern of clinical presentation, like Delta variant was significantly different from the you know Alpha variant, the initial one, and now the Omicron presentation is entirely different from the Delta variant. So clinical presentations of these variants also change. So variants of concerns are the ones who may evolve into you know uh, rapidly into public health threat or maybe you know have more challenging in terms of you know clinical presentation as well as uh, identification uh, and uh, their management so only those variants are identified as variants of concern and these variants of concerns are continuously monitored globally by who and uh, uh, whenever there is uh, an uh, accordingly the guidelines uh, related to travel uh, uh, lockdown and all these uh, vaccination, uh, 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 public place policy uh, and uh, you know, COVID preventive measures all are being implemented on a global level. So as of now, Omicron variant is, you know, majority of the cases are of this variant globally. And depending upon the virulence, the population susceptibility, its effect is different. But in India, we see that it is, you know, uh, of, it was a very mild variety. So past one year we had during August and earlier during March, we had COVID variant uh, of Omicron variety. We routinely do not do in our own practice, but these cases were very, very mild. Or mostly the duration of illness was of seven, five to seven days. And it would normally subside without majority of the patient during past one year, my practice, only one patient had you know, uh, required admission. And that was also in you know, before June time. Now, afterwards, I have not seen any patients, although I see around 20, 30, 40 patients in a day of influenza-like illness in my own practice. So Omicron is largely a very, very milder. Uh, initially, there was concern that, you know, when it was identified initially that it may, it has indeed rapidly spread all over the world, but then it is not as virulent as compared to Delta variant, for example, during past uh, you know one year experience from our own preclinical practice, I can say. So Omicron variant is the dominant variant and the several subtypes, for example, you must have all have heard about the BF7, which is the causing devastation in China, majority of the cases. And I will discuss more about them. And before that, I go to my next slide and we'll talk briefly about uh, the other variants that we have, and these are the previously circulating various uh, variants of concerns, alpha, beta, gamma, the delta variant, you know, and where they all originated. So alpha variant in 2022 in United Kingdom, beta variant in South Africa, gamma variant, it was identified in Brazil in 20. These were all identified in 2020. And largely the second wave 2021 was because of Delta variant, which was very, very devastating uh, for all of us. Uh, 
But since then, when the second wave was over, uh, we are seeing uh, less and less number of cases as well as very, very mild. It is almost as good as a normal cough and cold that you used to see during pre-COVID period in India, uh, Indian context. So just for, you know, these are all uh, uh, Greek letters, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, even Omicron is a Greek letter. So Omicron variants currently various types. Oh.